Hi, handsome. Hi, chunky, chunky. Yee. Hi. Watching how you move, yeah, like where I see Got our favorite station, taking in your fragrance That's an easy way to make a Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Y'all saw today is such a gloomy day. It has been raining all week out here in LA, which is something that we are not used to. But usually January and February, those are like our rainy seasons. That's like our winter out here in LA. But guys, it has been raining like crazy, but it's been super cozy. So I feel like when we don't get rain that often, we appreciate it a lot more. So I've actually been loving the rainy, cozy vibes. But besides that, I know y'all saw my new intro at the beginning of this video. I've been telling you guys, we are going to get a new intro. I just hadn't made the time or even like knew exactly what I want. I was like, should we like film something? Do I want something more like artistic? So I found this video editor on Instagram and I loved how she did these like collage style intros and I'm obsessed with the way mine turned out. So if you guys like the new intro, let me know down below and give this video a big thumbs up. But I'm just so happy to finally have an intro because y'all saw our last intro was basically the video um, was our pregnancy announcement video. So it was like pretty dated at this point. So I'm like, okay, we need something new. And again, like I said, it just took a while because I wasn't sure what I wanted, but this one is so perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything too long, just something short and sweet and cute. And this is like perfect. So let me know what you guys think about it down below. I'm excited for today because I'm officially starting my at home workouts again. So y'all saw I go to hot Pilates every week here and there after I had the twins, I would go on daily walks like right after like postpartum because that's pretty much what I was cleared to do for the first six weeks. And then I started going to the gym with Mel, but I'm finally starting my at-home workouts and we are going to be revamping the um, home gym downstairs. I'll get into that later, but I'm just really excited to finally get back to working out again. I definitely need it. When I don't work out often, it definitely affects me mentally and especially with this new year. What a better time to get back into it. So before I continue on with my day, I'm gonna eat some lunch. So I have two of these factor meal preps left in my fridge. I have this one right here, which is their jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. And then I have chicken Alfredo pasta. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I saved this pasta subconsciously as my last meal because I love pasta so I'm like let that be my like last one and then I have one more of my smoothies left this is in their mango flavor oh, so freaking good you guys and it's so hydrating too because the main ingredient is coconut water Mm, literally tastes like a tropical starburst if you guys have never heard of factor foods they deliver fresh never frozen meals right to your door and they have been saving me you guys so like i mentioned in my previous video i'm doing a huge lifestyle change the babies are now almost five months i'm ready to get back into it like i said we're getting our home gym together so i can just not have any excuses and actually work out more often and for me not being comfortable in my body is honestly one of the worst feelings ever i am confident in my body but i'm just like not at the place that i want to be and i'm somebody i can look the exact same you guys same weight same physique it's not even about the looks but if mentally i know i'm not properly taking care of myself i'm not working out i'm not giving myself the proper nutrition i don't feel as good so for me a lot of it comes from how i feel on the inside so with factor foods it's been keeping me from going out and buying takeout again when you order out you don't know exactly what's in your meals you don't know the calories the fat the carbs and a lot of the times they use unnecessary ingredients they put a lot of oil and things that you don't even need for a delicious meal so that is why i've been loving factor they have so many delicious meals on there you guys every single meal i've had this round i've just been like wow so freaking good i'll put a few on the screen that i've really liked this time so you guys can check it out on their website but y'all their meals are so delicious on my busy days the last thing i want to do is just put a halt in my day and cook and make a big mess in my kitchen and clean up and just do all that that's why i love factor literally you can heat these up in the microwave i prefer to heat it up in the oven for me i'll cook during dinner you know it's the end of the night let's cook a nice family dinner but lunch you think i'm gonna put a halt in my day and like do all that i'd rather spend my time doing other things like working working out spending time with my kids that's just something so low on my priority list i am not cooking during lunch you guys and if i am it's something quick i just realized this is like upside down 
I don't even know why. But guys, fun little fact, fun little tidbit, our fridge isn't magnetic. Like this does not stick to our fridge. That's why we put it on the oven. Factor offers a bunch of options so we can stick to our goals. They have calorie smart meals, keto meals, vegan, protein plus. So there really is something for everybody's dietary needs. I'm still not sure which one I wanna go with. See the jalapeno lime one, they list it as very popular on their site. So I think I'm gonna do that. Should I do any mini mini mo? Which one should I do that? I'm gonna do that one. Should I eeny mini mini mo? Which one should I do? Should I do jalapeno lime cheddar chicken or chicken alfredo? Mm. I think I should do jalapeno lime. Well, I kind of not. Is that mashed one. potato? Yeah. What's the last shape? Yeah. Do you, you want it? You want some? Don't, don't take it. Guys, I took the last smoothie. He's like, is there any more? You can have like half. And guys, the cool thing with Factor is that they're actually owned now by HelloFresh. And you guys know we're huge fans of HelloFresh. So now there really is something for everybody. And the best part is that you guys can enjoy discounts from me for both HelloFresh and Factor. So you guys can get 60% off your first Factor box. That's over half off. You guys can go to factor75.com and use my code Kavari60. I'll also put it on the screen right here. But you guys can use my code to get 60% off your first box. So make sure you guys check it out. And I'll link it for you guys down below. I'm just waiting for the other oven heat up real quick i should have started the oven before i even turned on the camera but i forgot so i could have sworn i wrote down my new year's resolutions i usually type them up on my phone but i couldn't find it so i was freaking out and i was old school this time but i wrote them in this journal so here are my new year's goals i want to say more so these are like my intentions for the year things that i want to work on again life is a journey these are things that i would like to work on this year that i've honestly been working on pretty much my whole life, especially in my adulthood. There's nothing really like set in stone here that I'm like, I wanna lose 10 pounds. I wanna start a business. I wanna do this. There's nothing really like that, but just more so things I wanna keep in mind. So number one on here, time management. So this one is something I've been working on my whole life. I have not been the best with my time management, being on time for things. I've gone a lot better. I know I take a long time to get ready, so I need to start getting ready for something two hours in advance, three hours in advance, four hours in advance. I need to just try to get ready for it as soon as possible. But aside from that, especially this year, having the twins and having three kids, when we're leaving as a family, that takes a lot of work, not gonna lie. And not even that, just when I wake up in the morning, I have to get like the twins ready for the day before I can get myself ready for the day for whatever I need to do. So me just being more conscious of that is gonna definitely help, especially with the LA traffic. I need to make sure I'm giving myself enough time to get ready, get my family ready before I go places. And also just for my work life as well, I wanna just do a better job of spacing out all of the things that I have to do in my due date. So I don't feel like I'm ever cramming a bunch of things into one week because when I do that, when I cram everything into one week, it's very stressful and I just get super overwhelmed because again, I have no time for anything else. I have no time to spend with my family or my friends, social outings, um, even me time, self care, sleep. So I really wanna make sure that I take all of my due dates and really look at my calendar as a whole at the start of every month see what's due even in the last week of the month so I'm aware of it so I can start working towards it and start getting it done a little bit sooner. So again, everything can be spaced out more and I'm not just kind of like cramming everything into one because again, I can get very overwhelmed and that's just like not the way to live. Again, I'm giving myself a lot of grace because I have had a huge life change with having the twins. Number two on here, prioritizing my physical health. I would say the last time I really prioritized my physical health and my fitness was before I had cave on and I was working out with a personal trainer. I was eating really well. I was a lot more mindful with what I do. And again, I just carved out time every single day. Granted, I didn't have kids. So it was a lot easier to carve out that time to work out, but I was a lot more dedicated to the gym. I was a lot more dedicated to um, going to hot Pilates and hot yoga. And again, I didn't have kids, so it was so much easier back then. But now there's no excuse, guys. You guys know I have a home gym downstairs and that's one thing that we are doing. We are revamping our gym. Um, we're not really gonna do much to it, but we are gonna extend the flooring. Right now we have half of the gym with the flooring. I wanna do the whole gym with the gym flooring. So I can do more, I can do like my at home yoga workouts. I actually started working with an online coach, which has been super great. So you guys did see for a minute, I was joining Mel at the gym. It hasn't been working out for me. It just takes up too much time in my day to actually go to the physical gym because you have to factor in driving there and driving back. That's like an extra half hour that I could spend 
you know, taking a shower and getting myself ready for my work day or whatever I need. And like I said, I do have an online fitness coach now. Her name is Leslie. She's super cute. But yeah, I am working out with her now. And today is actually my first at home workout. So you guys saw I have been working out since I had the twins. I actually go to hot yoga and hot Pilates every single weekend. So that's been super fun for me. That's been like a great me time for me and just something fun for me to do. I get my little protein shake at this little stand afterwards. It's just really nice. So I love going to my hot Pilates, but again, that's something I do just once or twice a week. So I really wanna start implementing every single day, at least half hour, just me prioritizing my physical well-being. My next goal for the new year is to wake up earlier. Again, with the twins, I'm giving myself a lot of grace because obviously, they're running my life right now. So whatever time they want to wake up, whatever time they want to go to sleep, I kind of have to just adapt to that. Now that they're approaching almost five months, we're getting closer to the age where we can kind of, I don't want to say sleep train, but we can definitely get them on more of a schedule. So right now they are on a pretty loose schedule, but it's hard with two babies. With Kayvon, it was pretty easy because it was just one baby that we had to worry about. But with two, at the end of the day, they're two different babies. They don't have the same brain. So sometimes one of them will nap longer or one of them will wake up later in the day. So I just kind of have to adapt to that. I'll get more into this later on in this video, but Kai is going through his four month sleep regression. So that has just been really, really tough this week. So I'm giving myself extra grace this week because guys, like Kai has not been sleeping this past two weeks and it's been so hard for Mel and I mentally. We obviously don't show it on camera, but it's been like really, really hard. Like I was in tears the other day because it's just so frustrating when you're so exhausted and your baby won't sleep. So. I'll get into that later on in this video, but I do want to try to have my wake up time to be 7 a.m. If I could get up at 7 a.m. every morning, I feel like that's a good middle ground. I feel like nowadays 9 a.m. is too late, 5 a.m. is too early, so 7 is just that sweet spot that I would ideally like to be up every single day. My last intention for this new year, as you guys can see, I don't have like a bunch because I used to have a bunch and honestly... As adults, we have so much we need to worry about in a day. I'm not trying to worry about like all these things on my list that are just gonna overwhelm me. And again, I have mentioned this in other videos. I'm someone, I'm like an all or nothing type of person. So if I make a goal, like let's use that 10 pounds as an example. If I have a goal, I wanna lose 10 pounds by June and I don't lose those 10 pounds by June, I get so hard on myself. Actually, this is the last goal that I'm gonna mention. I don't have this written down, but I do wanna get into meditation. So ever since I signed up for that Allo Moves app, I have been loving the meditation on there. Our minds are so powerful and I've always heard about the benefits of meditation. But again, the thought of meditation is just so daunting to me because I have a million thoughts in my brain at once. But like I mentioned with that Allo Moves app, they have guided meditations on there. So if I could just take the time for five minutes a night, just sitting there with my headphones in and doing that guided meditation, I think it's gonna help me a lot. Just for the few times that I have done it, our hot yoga at the end of class, we have Shavasana where you literally just like lay there, they play music and you just like meditate for a few minutes. It just puts me in such a amazing headspace. So if I could have that feeling every single day, why wouldn't I do it? So I wanna make sure that I try to make time to meditate every single day. So right now my goal is just to even do it like three times a week. So I really wanna work up to doing it every single day. Why you got a birth like that walking in? You guys see what I have to live with? I live with an ogre. A handsome man. I live with Shrek. Surprised it didn't well, fart when you walked you in must here be, too. You must be Donkey. What about Fiona? <laughs> What about Lord Farquhar? Donkey. Speaking of Shrek and Donkey, we saw Puss in Boots the other day and it was so good. Yeah, really good. It was a great movie, you guys. And I'm not usually into like cartoons and stuff like that, but it had really cute um, underlying messages, you know, like really cute themes. Before you leave, tell us one of your goals for the new year. I'm putting you on the spot. Ah, my hair. And I'm really putting you on the spot. I'm just going to keep being disciplined in the gym. I want to see my body make a huge transformation. Like I've always had like decent sized arms and a decent body, but I want to really transform. And then like my main thing is just being more personable on my social medias because I do a lot of, like I do a lot of content, I do a lot of reels and things like that, but you never really see me. It's always me filming Bond and me filming food and what we're doing. I don't really talk to the camera. I don't really make you guys feel like, you know, we're having conversation, like I'm talking enough. So I want to do that a lot more this year. So that's Aww. my goal. It's good goal, babe. Kayvon comes home from school um, in a little bit, so I really want to make sure I get my workout in before he comes home. So let's go get dressed and get right to it. Yeah. Yeah. Not really sure how to say this. Seriously trying to erase this. But I can't seem to get you out. 
Kayvon's new thing is he loves to wash the dishes, right Kay? Yeah. I need to go change my clothes, but until then, let me wear this apron so I don't get soaked. Okay, okay, that is not. I can't believe you. You know when like a bowl is like filled with water, like in the sink, like with food remains, he just drink it. Okay, that's disgusting. I can't. Bro. No. Oh my god. Oh, don't do that. Just take all the straws. Okay, okay, look, look, there's food in there. That's like old food, Kay. You just drink it. Mel and Kayvon went to Trader Joe's. We had to restock on the jojoba oil. You guys saw my last video. We were like all out. And he got me more my shaving cream. Mel made us some yummy pasta. I'm excited to try it. Mel snapped on this pasta. So good. This little chunky boy is awake. I changed his outfit before he went to sleep. You guys gotta see, it's so cute. Hold on. Y'all look at how cute. Look, 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 hold on. Kai Kai. Kai Kai. Hi, Chunk. Hi, handsome. Hi, Chunky Chunky. Yay! Hi. This little boy is teething up a storm. He is slobbering all over the place. I just got him some of these drops. Arya is still asleep, as always. She always sleeps longer than uh, 
just gonna call him Kayvon, longer than Kai. But I picked some of these up for him the other day. Can you believe this is my bubble? This is mine? This is mine and no one's gonna take it from me? Are you serious? I always think about how when we were trying to get pregnant with our second, I was like, if we have a girl, we're done. You know, like once we have our girl, I'm not having any more kids. And it like, I always think about the fact like I couldn't fathom having only one son now that I have another one. I'm like, it feels so incomplete. It would feel so incomplete if I didn't have my Kai Kai. I'm gonna go put him in that little activity center and get his sister up. So they'll be nice and tired for bedtime. But yeah, guys, I need to do a little sit down video about this, but like Kai, I think he went through the four month sleep regression last week. Last week was so rough, you guys. And you wouldn't even know because like Mel and I didn't really like talk about it on Instagram or anything and we were still continuing on with our life. But y'all, oh my God, last week was so hard. Kai was up every two hours for at least four or five days straight. Like I have not, until probably two nights ago, I have not slept for more than three hours consecutively in like two weeks. It was so so hard y'all but i think he finally got over it and i think he's finally starting to sleep again like how he used to like waking up like twice in a night like i kid you not you guys he was up like six times in a night like we were going crazy during that i would always tell kai i'm like you're lucky you're so cute because i would like wake up for like the seventh time in a night like so annoyed but then i'd see this face and i'm like it's okay it's okay i love him i love him i love him i love him i love him, I love him. sister sister Let's go wake up your sister. My favorite thing about waking up Mooch is that she does her Moochie lips when she wakes up. She goes like, I'm sorry, Moochie. The hood has Kai's like a hair pushed back. I kid you not, he looks like Rob Kardashian. Like back in the day, hold on, let me show you guys. Does this not look like Rob Kardashian circa 2007 right now? <laughs> Hi, Kai Kai. Hi, Kai Bear. Hi. Little teeth coming out. <laughs> Look, look, look. Yo, Mooch is so out of it. I'm about to get her changed and settled. And then this boy needs some, I think he needs some teething drops. Mela's upstairs giving Kayvon a bath. So I kind of want to try to get like downstairs cleaned up while these two are awake. So once they go to sleep, like we can just end our night and like enjoy our time. And I can finally get to watching Alite. The new season has been out for weeks and I'm like one episode deep. So I'd love to just like spend the rest of my night watching Alite. I usually wait to clean up downstairs after they go to sleep. But yeah, guys, last week, when I tell you last week was so hard, it was probably the hardest week of my life. Cause you guys know Kayvon was a good sleeper too. So Kayvon and Arya have always been like good sleepers. So Kai was my first experience of a baby waking up. Every time he'd wake up, I'd almost like panic. I'm like, is something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? And then you guys know they sleep in their bassinet, so they have a twin bassinet. But now that they're older, they move around a lot, you know? So when one wakes up, they kind of like shift a little bit in their sleep. So you guys know they're at that age now where they have to like connect their sleep cycles. So, you know, they kind of like, just like you guys see her right now, like she'll kind of move like that in her sleep and vice versa. So because they're in the same like twin bassinet with a divider, it shakes the whole bassinet. So it's starting to like wake each other up. Right now, I'm not gonna lie, like Kai has been ending up in our bed in the night and I just don't like that. I'm not against co-sleeping or anything. Every time we do it, like I sleep with anxiety. I don't get good sleep because I'm like, I don't want anything to happen to Kai. So our plan is we have another bassinet um, that we had for cable, like just a single bassinet. So I think we're gonna take that upstairs too. Put Kai in one, put Arya in the other so they're not, you know, bothering each other in their sleep. But I really think it's time for them to transition to the crib, especially Kai, because he's so big now. So Kai is almost 20 pounds. Last time he had an appointment, he was 19 pounds. So he's outgrowing the bassinet. He likes to have a lot of space. So I actually ordered us some baby monitors so we can set it up in their nursery. So hopefully by the end of this month, they're both sleeping in their nursery. Again, guys, it's just so hard with twins. Like twins really opened my eyes it really opened my eyes too that you can do the exact same thing for two babies and it can have a completely different outcome like it really is just the baby you know what i mean so with having Kayvon, i feel like mel and i were really spoiled and we kind of thought it was our parenting that made Kayvon such a great sleeper when in reality some babies are just born great sleepers like aria is the same like we never had to really do anything she naturally let me knock on wood let me not jinx it but like 
we didn't have to really do anything for her to sleep through the night. Like, she's already sleeping 10 hours in the night. But yeah, I think with Kai, it really comes down to his comfort. Like, he's just not comfortable in the bassinet because he sleeps better in our bed. And not, and we don't even need to be there, you know what I mean? It's not like he sleeps better because he's next to Mel or I. Because we can just put him in our bed and he will sleep perfectly, like, obviously supervised. But... Yeah, I just think he needs like a bigger mattress and I think either we move the crib into our room or we put him in another bassinet or we just move them both into their cribs. I'm on team move them both to their cribs because you guys know Kayvon was already in his crib by like three months. So when he was younger than these two, he was already in his crib. So I really want to continue that for the 20s. Mama's here. Where's Gigi? Where's Gigi? Where's Gigi? Where's Gigi? Where's Gigi? Now, you hide. I find you, okay? KK? I haven't seen KK. Mommy, Have did you, you find KK? No, I haven't no. seen KK. Do you think where he, where I can I, find I think him? he left. I think he went to Target, right, KK? Target? With he went daddy? To Target. Yeah, with him daddy? and daddy went to Target. Eh? He go with daddy to Target? Uh, oh my god, I cannot find them. With which car? With with white car black or black car? Or the black car? With black car. A black car? Oh my god. Let me go open the door. Let me go open there. Open the door. Kai? Kai? Mama is just in her own world. Kai said this way. Oh. Eh? I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you. I love you. Dr. KK is in the house. Okay. Dr. KK. Oh. Dr. Vano Come from me. Dude, the first thing he did was this. Ouch, KK. Oh, KK, you're pressing really hard. So I can go to the dentist. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I came in and he saw me, he said, <laughs> he kept saying something about his teeth and his teeth hurt and this. I was like, it's because I went to the dentist this morning. She was like, oh my god. <laughs> Let me see. Let me check your teeth. I love you. I love you. I, 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 I love you. Take that. some medicine. Now you're better. <laughs> Guys, look at this lunchbox we got for Kayvon. I got off of Amazon. It's so cool because you put the whole lunchbox. Kayvon wants to show you guys. You put the whole lunchbox in the freezer and it keeps it cool. So instead of having to put ice packs in the lunchbox, I said ice packs, ice packs in the lunchbox, you just put the whole thing in the freezer and it keeps the food nice and cold. So you guys know we also use this for his food. He actually did a good job. I haven't emptied out his containers today. Thermos, it keeps the food warm and then it keeps everything else nice and cool. I'll link this for you guys. Every night I have came on pick his books. He usually knows exactly what he wants to read but tonight he's having trouble. Ooh, what about Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? We haven't done that one in a long time. Or Brown Bear Brown Bear. Came on, let's do those new books I got. The Kindness is My Superpower. You liked it yesterday. Hey Tom, for Batman. Ooh, what about what about hide and seek? We haven't watched hide and seek in a long time. We haven't read hide and seek in a long time. Here, you have two. Yeah. Now one more. You want this one? No. I did like. Good. Guys, look at Kmon's silk pillowcase Blue. from Blissey. It's so cute. Okay, you have it's three like now. It's a little spacey. Let's get a bit. Time. Okay, okay, we'll listen to that song every night before bed now, okay? Yeah. When, when we're downstairs and it's time to go upstairs, when I play that, you have to run upstairs and go to sleep, okay? Good night. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Dad. These are Kate Mullen's three choices tonight. We're reading Bedtime for Batman, Every Little Thing. Hey, Kiki, can we show them the cover of this book, please? Yeah. Ah. It's called Hugs in the Mail. I just to show you guys. Here's your water. If you get thirsty in the night, you have your water. And Daddy's gonna go clean. Love you, Daddy. I love you. I love you. Okay, guys, that is it for today's vlog. I really hope y'all enjoyed. So, Kayvon, like, I read him two books and I went to go read him the third book and he was like, No, Daddy. I was like, Huh? You know, I read you books every night. I was like, Well, me and Mel like switch off, but lately it's been like me. Like, I sit in there and I read books with him for like, 30 45 minutes so i go to read him the third one and he's like no daddy i'm like i'll get your daddy so i got mel mel read to him 
Um, and then while he was doing that, I went ahead and put the twins down. Kai took a little bit longer to fall asleep. So by the time I came downstairs, everything was all cleaned up. So my mom and Mel actually cleaned up downstairs, which was really, really nice. But I'm just going to watch an episode of Elite Day and go to sleep. Let me know if you guys are watching the new season of Elite Day. I'm sure you guys are like done with it because it's been out for a while. But I'm finally getting around to it. So yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end my night. And I will see you again for our next video. Bye, everyone.